స్వాగతం అద్య బృహస్పతి వాసర సాయంకాల రఘువంశ కావ్యం పఠ్యతే ద్వాదశర్గ ప్రథమత మంగళాచరణం కర్తవ్యం రామో రాజమణి సదా విజయతే రామం రమేశం భజే రామేణాభ్యతా నిశాచర చమూ రామాయ తస్మై నమ రామాన్నాస్తి పరాయణం పరతరం రామస్య దాసోస్మ్యహం రామే చిత్తలయ సదా భౌతమే భోరామ మాముద్ధర రామ రామేతి రామేతి రమే రామే మనోరమే సహస్రనామ తత్తుల్యం రామ నామ వరాందనే శ్రీరా శ్రీరామ నామ వరాందన ఓన్నమ ఇది అథ శ్రీ మాహేశ్వర సూత్రాణి అ ఈ ఉణ్ రుల్ రుక్ ఏ ఓంగ్ ఐ ఔచ్ హయవరట్ లణ్ మంగ ణ నమ్ జబంగ్ శ్లోక ఆరభ్యే ఫార్టీ ఫోర్ శ్లోక సో ఇట్ గోస్ లైక్ దిస్ ఉదయు ఉదాయుధానాపతస్తాన్ప్రేక్ష రాఘవ నిదే విజయాశంసాన్ చాపే సీతాంచ లక్ష్మణే టైం ఉదాయుధానాపతస్తాన్ప్రేక్ష రాఘవ నిదే విజయాశంసాన్ చాపే సీతాంచ లక్ష్మణే స ఉదాయుధాన్ ఆపత దృప్తాన్ ప్రేక్ష రాఘవ నిదే విజయాశంసాం చాపే సీతాం చక్ష్మణే సో విజయాశంసాం చాపే సీతాం చక్ష్మణే సో నిశ్చే సరళ శ్లోక సరళ శ్లోక సుగమ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ quite a straight forward verse it is only one thing and tam padam in this verse always make that the anchor of the sentence is a thing and tam padam that is nidhade nidhade as i mentioned to you in the bhagavad gita there is no unfortunately there is no lit prayoga with atmane atmane pad pratyah there is no lit prayoga with atmane pad pratyah with atmane padam so this is this is a lit prayoga now in our class on this saturday we'll be starting the lit prakriya so in a, in a few classes from now this will be very straight forward but um this ending that you see over here this a ending this ending a this is uh, a lit prayoga let's see what we can do the vyakrana very quickly for that so first thing you want to try to analyze the thing and tam padam and this is why we say you know this panini panini panine paddhati is you know you have to be familiar with that because otherwise it's impossible to memorize all these verbal forms so you need to have the framework and even if you don't know all the rules you know enough if you know enough to get the dhatu out of this your job is pretty much done but then you can there are many books you can look up and you can uh, you can figure out what the exact steps are so if you know the thing and the prakriya at least to the point we can know this is the dhatu and this is lakara is probably this that's enough because then you got the meaning that's enough and if you want to look up all the extra things you can you can look them up so dhatu is dha dudhai dharana poshana yo ho let's look at the vyakaranam of this one so if you come here um dhatu is uh, dudhai dar dharana poshana yo ho dane ityapyeke means to is to bear to hold to place to put to nourish to support also in the sense of charity that's also could be a meaning so so do thai dar dharana poshana yo ho the beginning do takes is the entire samudaya takes the it sanya by adir ni to dava that's number 135 the first order of business in any technical term remove the it letters remove the it letters i think by now i think most of you are familiar with that so this this from upadeshe janu nasika it up to tasya lopa this is what called the you can call the it stripping department the it stripping department so not no technical no technical package shall be used 
until it passes through this department, which is 132 to 139. And here you have other ni to Davaha. So the beginning, uh, this ni, tu, and du, these three, they take the it sanya and also, of course, salantyam. This entire du is a single it, not the dakara, ukara, putak, putak is sanya nasti. So, um, so when you take it into the into for prayogaha, you get dha plus lit, the poroksha lit, bhuta arthe poroksha lit. These adhikaras in the ashtadhyayi, which we have mentioned many times, is this adhikara bhute, kala nukramena, kala nukramena, according to the, according to the the order in, in the chronological order, chronological order. So we have bhute from 3 to 84, then vartamane let starts from 3 to 123, and then bhavishyati starts from 333. So that's from 333 over here, bhavishyati. So in the bhute adhikara, is sutra, sutram is uh, parokshilit, parokshilit. Again, in this Saturday class, we'll be starting this lit prakriya there in detail. So parokshilit is a sutram, and anuvritti is coming of the Anadhyatane. Anadhyatane also bhute and parokshe lit. So lit is a past tense which is to be used in the sense of an action which has not been experienced. Nanabhuta. Which has not been experienced by the by the speaker. So vaktra. Vaktra nanabhutam. So it has not been experienced by the speaker. Um, so we get lit. Uh, pratyaya here and then as usual anubandha lopaha these steps are always the same lakara and anubandha lopaha again let is a technical i mean let is a technical term it has to take the it letters out so halantyam upadesha upadesha jananasika it and the lakara also would have an it by lashakpatadite does not become an it because of vachana samarthyat vachana samarthyat so the um, because the adhikara of lasya panini has so if you make lakara as an it then this adhikara of lasya will not make any sense. And also prayojana bhavat, prayojana bhavat, prayojana bhavat, there is no prayojana for the lur to be an it. This lasya adhikara is there. So, vachana samarthyat prayojana bhavat. So, we get now um, dha plus lur, the usual steps. Now, the vivaksha is um, kartari, patham uh, purusha eka vachanam. And in this case, the, because of the dhatu has the chavarga pancham as an it, it is basically Ubhayapadi Dhatu because of um, Surita Gnitaha Kartra Vipraya Kriya Phale. Surita Gnitaha Kartra Vipraya Kriya Phale. Kartra Vipraya. So, makes it Ubhayapadi. So, in this case, Atmanipadam has been used. So, Pratya is the because Ramaha Nidhade. Ramaha is a Karta. So, this is what happens when you make the, the good news is that when you make the Tingantam Padam as the anchor of the sentence, it immediately going to tell you what is the nature of the doer of the action? This tells you that the doer of the action is a third person singular. Uh, and of course, in the context, we know it's Raghavaha. Raghavaha Lidhadhe. So, okay. is that you, Ven? Yes, I'm sorry. Welcome, yes. welcome. Swagatam. Thank you. Uh, your voice is clear, by the way. No echo. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's called Pratidhvanir Nasti. Pratidhvanir. Pratidhvanir Nasti. Pratidhvanir Nasti. An echo. Uh, comes in the Rudra Prata, Pratishravaya Cha, Pratishravaha, the Rudram, Pratishravaha means echo, echo. Oh, okay. Anyway, okay. So, um, so we get the Atmanipadam Pratyatha. Now comes the thing which is that Parok, the uh, Litcha Sutra, because we have, we are used to the thing Shit Sarvadhatukam, Ardhatukam Sheshaha, but then also Litcha, Litcha, Litcha. Again, one more time in the Saturday class, we'll be doing all this in detail. So, Litcha Sutram says that these Tipadeha, Tipadeha, which normally would have got the Sanya of Sarvadhatukam by Tingshis Sarvadhatukam, if they Lidadeshaha, Lidadeshaha, became place of Lit, then they don't get the Sanya of Sarvadhatukam. Instead, the same Tiptaji, etc. Same means the form of the Pratya is the same, but now it's, in, it's used in place of Lit. So, they get the Sanya of Ardhadhatukam. And the important consequence of that is <coughs> that we don't get Kartari Shap. Kartari Shap is only Sarvadhatu K. Okay, so that so that that completes that process. And now comes the Sutram which says the Nitastajayor Eshirech, as I mentioned to you many, 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 many times. Bhuvara Muktam. 
is the sutram which is 3478 tip tajji those are only defaults they are only defaults there are many many operations here below that up to the end of 3.4 which are lakara sambandhi karyani <coughs> this pratyas change pratyas change depending on which lakara they are coming in so even though the pratyat was the utsargaha was the default um, they say let us tajyo resh resh so if, if the, the pratyat which came in place of lit gets the um, esh adesha esh now in the esh by halantyam the talavish shakara is an it and the progenum of that is the sutram uh, aneka alshis sarvasya because anytime you have an adesha always think of the sutra chatushtayam which is the um, alontyasya nitya adesh parasya Aneka Ashi Sarvasya, because that will tell you the, the Adeshaha, the substitution, substitute, will take place of the entire item being substituted, only the ending letter. So you have to find out exactly where the substitution takes place. And here the Sutram is Aneka Ashi Sarvasya. So Tala Vishya is an it, will replace the entire Sthani. What's called the Sthani? The Sthani is the, 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 the item which occupies the place of the operation. He's the patient. The patient being operated on is the sthani, what's called the sthani. So, so here the entire term ter gets replaced and you get the A. Now, of course, you do the usual lit, um, uh, the dhittam by liti dha to ranabhyasasya becomes dha dha plus A, then rasva deshaha by rasvaha dha dha plus A, and then what happens is the sutram. First five one two five. This a pratyaya gets the kit bhavaha. It becomes a kit pratyaya. So you know the sutra which we use all the time, which is the sarvadhatukam apit, sarvadhatukam apit. Following that is sutra one two five, which says asanyoga lit kita, asanyoga lit kita. So if you have a lit pratyaya. Which is apit, apit lit kitsyat. Anuvritti of apit comes from here. So in this beginning of 1.2, Panini puts all these rules where certain pratyas will take the kit or the nit bhavaha. And they're coming in one, always, always try to get a map in your head of the ashtadhyayi. Try to do that. So from 1 to 1 to 1 to 26, that makes grammar fun for you, you know. It's when you get like a monopoly game going in your mind like a monopoly game going in your mind. So here Pani has this pratyaya, have this sutram, which says, asanyogat litkit, asanyogat apit litkit syat. Anurutya apit comes from down here. So how, how you know, Pani has arranged this jigsaw puzzle with all these pieces interacting in different, different ways. So this pratyaya A, even though it was not sakshat kit, became, it now became a kit because of asanyogat litkit and that allows this sutram ato lopa yuticha. If you have Adanta Mangam, which in this case is Dha Dha, which is followed by Pratyaha, which is Ajadi, Kit Nit, then the Angam takes Lopaha, means Alontyasya, the Akara of the Angam takes Lopaha. Or the Pratyaha has to be uh, with the Idagamaha. This is the, this is the Adhikara of Adhadhatuke, which starts from 6446, Adhadhatuke. I just told you that the Pratyaha lit by Sutram Litcha, this Pratyaha A has something of Adhadhatukam. So, uh, so if you have pratyaya, if you angam ending in an akaraha, followed by a pratyaya which is sanya of ardhatukam, which is which is ajadi kitnit, or has an idagama to it, in that case the angam takes lopaha alontyasya, and then we get dhad dhad a. And then finally, abhyasa charcha, the joke in in abhyasa the prana is lost, <laughs> the prana is lost, the mahaprana becomes the corresponding alpa prana, become dadhe. And the Nidhade is, you know, this Niha is the Pradi, Upsarga, Kriya Yoga, Gatishcha, and Te Parag Dhatoho. Te Parag Dhatoho. So they all go before Dhatu, so I can put Upsarga, Kriya Yoga, Gatishcha. So that is the, so Nidhade means he placed, he placed. So who placed? So now we got somebody is placing something. Somebody is putting something somewhere. Somebody is is supporting something. So now we got the basic idea of the sentence. Always, always get the Kriya Shabda. Get the action part of the verb, of, of the sentence. Because this, this language, you know, they have so many adjectives, so many clauses, so many similes, all like, you know, kind of cluttering the whole sentence. You want to extract out of that entire, so to speak, a mess. 
is that one padam, which is like the gem in the sentence. That's the gem you want to pick out first. What's the action going on here? What is the action, you know? So and that is nidhade. So ragava, and then ragava nidhade is straightforward. Now, there is a clause, as you can see, the word preksha is here. Preksha. Uh, it comes in Gita, anuviksha chapa urusham. What's called it? Tamasik karma. Uh, tamasam, I should say. Uh, it comes in chapter 18, chapter 18 of the Gita. Anubandham kshayam himsam, anuviksha chapa urusham. Mohadarabhate karma yatta tamasam uchyate. Tamasa karma, tamasam karma, chapter 8. Anuviksha chapa urusham. So, anuviksha, same thing, preksha, anuviksha chapa urusham. Of course, there is a nyai samasa there. It's a negation, tatrusha compound. So, anubandham kshayam himsam, without taking into account the consequences, the damage, etc. And anuviksha chapa, anuviksha chapa urusham, without taking into account your own ability, your power, your strength. An action which is started is called tamas, tamasam karma. It is coming here. Uh, uh, here it is. Anubandham kshayam himsam anuveksha cha paurusham. This is one of the few partabheda in the Gita. In the Gita, partabheda, difference in text. There are only very few in Gita. Very few. This is one of them. Anuveksha anupeksha. Anuveksha anupeksha is the tool. Anuveksha means not the same meaning is about the same. Sapaurusham, without without considering your own ability or strength, if you undertake an action, that is called tamasamuchate. So they so you see anapeksha or anaveksha. Um, either way, you have this this the our usual process which you have seen a thousand times by now, which is that the pratyaktva comes when you have saman kritikyo purva kale. We already established who the karta of the uttra uttravartini kriya is. Because the kriya is, as I put it here, the dhatu is iksha, ikshate yoga yukta atma. Iksha also comes in Gita, ikshate yoga yukta. All, at all times, the Gita should be circling in your brain, constantly like, you know, like, you know, like a stock ticker, you know, constantly going through your brain. So when you, when you see a padam, a dhatu, a pratyaha, a upasargaha, a prayogaha, anything that's used in the Gita, immediately go to Gita and see to your, like your mother kind of, you know. So, saying Gita Matre Namaha, as they say. So, it is used in chapter 6, other places also. Ikshate Yoga Yukta Atma, Sarvata Samadarshanaha, Ikshate. So, Iksha is to, to gaze, to look at, to observe. So, Preksha is having noticed, you can say maybe, having noticed, having observed, having identified. So, Preksha is, the Iksha takes the Pratyaktva. This you have seen in daily examples many, many times which is the saman kritika yoha purva kale, when there's a, so this also goes to establish a good structure for the sentence, which you have seen before many times, is that somebody is, somebody is doing two actions, one after the other. We already established the second action with nidhade, so this is the prior action. So having noticed, so iksha takes the pratyaktva, saman kritika yoha purva kale, this is a simple verse. It's a simple verse, nothing much difficult about it. But it's good to kind of, you know, once you get something simple, try to try to analyze it completely down to the bone. So next time you get something more difficult, you get you have all these weapons that you're sure already worked in the simple case, you know. So you're sure of them now because you already analyze simple shloka. Now you get a more difficult shloka. Now you are okay, it's more difficult, but you have some weapons which you already know you have already tested on the easy guys. So now come to difficult ones, you can try to use the same thing. So these simple items you can pick out with confidence and make sure that you know you cannot be shaken on these. So Pratyaktva comes and you get the Pradi Samasaha, Kugati Pradeha, they're in the Wednesday class in great detail already. So Pra is a is a, is is a, is a is a Pradi and then they get the Upasarga Kriya Yoga Gatishcha and you get the get the Gati Samasaha by Preksha. And then when you get when you get a compound samasanyang purve khtvo lyap, not doing great detail because we've done this many many times, so it becomes like the lyapa deshaha. And the lyap of course lashakvatiti halantyam anubandha lope ya. So and then ad gunaha. Ad gunaha becomes preksha. So so now so far what do we have? We have Ramaha Ragavaha. You can say that Tan Dhruptan. Now you see who's the object of preksha now. Is Tan Dhruptan Rakshasan. Having seen those haughty, those arrogant, those arrogant rakshasas, then Ragavaha he placed. What did he place? Chape. There are two. He placed two things because Chashabdhadrishyate. There is a connection here. 
And as always, this chair, these connecting words, they came one word later than in English. Because he placed Vijaya, Vijaya Asham Sam. Basically, Vijaya Asham. He placed the desire or the hope for victory, the prospects of victory. You know, Vijaya Asham Sam, Chape. So he entrusted. Because see, so Nidhade is like Nidhanam, Nidhi. Nidhi, like, you know, Karuna Nidhi, you all know, right? Karuna Nidhi. Karuna Yaha Nidhi. He is a reservoir of compassion. So, so Nidhi, Nidhi is a reservoir or a deposit, depository, depository. So Nidhan, Nidhanam is like you, do, you, you, you deposit some or interest, interest. You put a deposit. So, so Sri Ramaha he entrusted the prospects of victory on his bow, and that is Chape, Dhanushi, and Sita to Lakshmane. He entrusted Sita to Lakshmana. Huh? And he entrusted his bow with taking care of the victory part of it. So having noticed these, uh, those, those means Purvoktan, those prior ones, they were coming, uh, with, you know, the Karadi, Karadin Rakshasan, Karadin Rakshasan, Rakshasan, Kara, etc. Having noticed, having observed those arrogant Rakshasas, and there are two more adjectives to them. This is Uda. See, these we can complete later. So now we got the basic sentence. Even if you don't get all those complex adjectives, it's not that important to the story. I mean, it's nice to get the Kavyam, but you got the basic idea you got. That's what I'm saying. You get the basic. Then when you read like Bhagavatam and this and that, like Bhatti Kavyam, there will be a lot of things going on. Just just clear out the clear out the desk, so to speak, you know. Clear out the desk and just keep a simple things on top of the desk right now. Then we'll add things as and when we like, you know, as we need. So these two, Udayudhan and Apatataha, they are, they are Samadhi Karana with Tan, Dhrtan, Rakshasan. So Udayudhan, now, this was the topic of yesterday's class, which you've done in, thrashed in great detail many, many times, and that is this. Uh, Udayudhan is Udyatani. Ayudhani yaihi te udayudha sarvapraharana ayudha om nama iti so praharana ayudha so anyway this Vishnu Sasnava Sotram so udyatani ayudhani ayudham is a weapon udyatani ayudhani yaihi te in fact comes in Gita let me just check it I just my Gita meter just clicked my Gita meter just went off I think it's coming in Gita in chapter 11 in the beginning itself, when Sanjay described the Vishwarupa, Vishwarupam, I think Sanjay Ovach is coming there. Let me just put the exact shloka. Uh, anek divya, here it is. Anek divya varanam, anek divya anek oh, here it is. Ujjata ayudham, here you go. Divya anek ujjata ayudham. It had many anek uh, divine uh, raised weapons. So that Vishwarupam. We can you can we can leave out these two. Ujjata ayudham, Ujjatani ayudhani yasmin tadrupam. So he saw that you know rupam, paramam rupam aishwaram, that rupam which had in it these many rage weapons. So here we have Ujjata ayudha. What has happened here is that as we saw in great detail in yesterday's class is the vartikam. We say this two two twenty four aneka manya padarthe, which form bahuri compounds. There are very important vartikani. Mutpurvani Vartikani Vartanti Tasmin Sutre Sutra Samyakshani Mahabhashya. One of them is that Pradibhyo. This is this is our famous example Vidhava. Vigataha Dhavaha Yasyaha Sa. So one whose husband has passed away. So you can say Nispraha. Nirgata Spraha Yasyasaha. So many, many in coming Gita, a lot of these are coming. So here we have Udyata, this this Yata, which is the Dhatuja. Dhatujam, Krizantam, participle, participle, can be optionally dropped, can be optionally dropped. Of course, the example in the Kashika is Praparanaha, Prapatita, Prapatitani Paranani Yasisaha Vrikshaha, Praparanaha. So this Udyata, this Yata can be dropped, just like in Vidhava, the, the Vigata, the Gata can be dropped. So we get only Ud, Udayudha, Udyata Ayudha comes in Gita. While here we got Udayudha. So now you got a nice reference in Gita. Udyat, Udyat Ayudham. Yam, Yam Dhatu Yam. Yam is to restrain. Udyama. Udyama is to exert, also to lift. 
to lift up. So we have raised weapons. Now here I didn't put in, in the in the document. Here sutram here is six four thirty seven. While the unadatto uh, badesha vanati tanotyaadi na unadasik anadasik lo po jali kini thi. Example which I give all the time is akshatan samar payam. When you do puja, when you see akshatan samar payam. <laughs> You should do the samarpanam of this sutram in your brain. Manasi samarpayami. Idam sutram manasi samarpayami. Manasi samarpayami. Which is anudatta padesha vanati tanotyadi. Na unanasi kalopo jalikiniti. Anudatta padesha. That should click in your brain. Anudatta padesha means you connect with 7 to 10. This is also coming in our Saturday class pretty soon now. This idagamaha prakaranam. And the main nishida sutra for idagamaha is ekach upadesha ekach upadesha anudatta at. Which you have a dhatu anudatu padesha. We're talking about the swara and the dhatu vowel, not the it vowel, the dhatu vowel. So that will dictate whether the dhatu will allow the idagamaha or not allow or optionally allow. Remember one thing: the idagama takes place to pratyaha, not the dhatu. The pratyaha it is the idagama is the pratyaha is idagamaha, not the dhatu. The dhatu only allows or disallows the idagamaha. So basically, what it means that these dhatus which are ending in a nasal, which are which are anit dhatus. And there are six of them, Yamanama, Ramagama, and Manahana. So these six, and then also this, this Dhatu Vanati, and Dhatu in Tanotya, the Ganaha, all these, what do they do? Anunasika Pulopa, Jalikiniti. Jalikiniti. The best thing that you can do is keep on repeating Sutrani in your mind. Slowly, slowly, the meaning will come to you. So Nadhatu Padesha. So here, Dhatu Yam is Anadhatu Padesha Dhatu. And it is Jalikiniti, Pratya is Kta. So that this the makara drops and becomes yata udyata. Anyway, the whole entire thing udyata was also dropped here because it's vartikam. So purupadantar gatasya utrapadasya. This purupadam is udyata. Purupadantar gatasya utrapadasya. So within this purupadam, this yata is the utrapadam. Dhatu jasya, dhatu jasya should be participle form. Lopo vacha ityartaha. That takes lopaha become ud udayutha. So what you have is in Gita you have Udyatayudham, Jagum Shakam you have Udayudham, Udayud, Udayudhan, Udayudhan, because this is the Pratham, I mean Dvitya Bahuvachanam. This is the Sutram which we won't go in the class because this is in the daily examples, is Tasma Chaso Naf Pumsi, Tasma Chaso Naf Pumsi. You do the Pratham of Purusavarnaha, like Raman, Gurun, Harin, Pitrun, Tasma chaso naf pumsi in the in the masculine gender only. This is immediately tells you this must be a masculine form. That nakara of the prat of the that, that ending sakara of shas takes the nakara de shaha following this patamapuru savarnaha. So tan udayudhan and apatataha. Apatat you be, be careful now. This apatataha is a dutya bhuvachanam. Also one more technique which you have mentioned many times is if you are not able to establish the bhakti and vachanam of apatataha, look around. You have udayudhan preceding it. And following you have tan druptan. So it gives you a very strong hint that this apatataha is probably going to be, likely going to be a dvitya bhavachanam. So this always look for samadhi karanam. Many times you'll get lucky, many times, because this language is such that there are many words, you know, strings strung together in samadhi karanam. So if you're not able to fix it, Fix a bhakti of a of a of a subantam, you know. Then look at look around for help, and you see if the samadhi karnam is there. So this apatataha, this is shatrapatya apatat. Patat is to falling. For apatat means like falling upon, basically attacking. They were attacking him. Apat technically patat pat is to patru is to fall. Apat is to like fall upon, or fall on all sides, kind of asamantat. To, to, to fall on all sides, means to basically means to attack. So attacking Rakshasas. So here what we have is Dhatu Patlir Gatav. Pratya Lat is added because of Vartamane Lat. And then um, we get the uh, Pratya Shatri because of, oh this is a wrong step, I'm sorry. This is wrong. Uh, this is wrong, I'm sorry. This number should be uh, okay, we can do without that. Okay, so Laf Parasampadam and the Sutram is 32124, what we call the Vartamane Kudantaha. Vartamane Kudantaha. Vartamane Kud Pratyaha, which is Shatru, what's called the present participle in English. So we get this Shatru Ashanach. That is Shatru Ashanachava Pratama Samana Adhikarane. 
So let can be direct, directly replaced by let let it directly replaced by either the shatru or shanach if the if the vivaksha is this vartamane uh, vartamane so it's a present participle. So in this case, dhatu patru is a is a prasipadi dhatu. So we get the pratyek shatru because left prasipadam. Otherwise, you get shanach in atmani padam. And then you got the usual steps. You add the pratyek kartri shap anubandha lopa al shakpatadi halantyam and patat. So patat is a pratipudikam at patat plus shas and of course apatat is a gati samasaha by um, the pradeha upasarga triyayoga gatishcha kugati pradeha and now notice that the pratya shas does not have sanya sarvanama sthanam sudana pum sudana pum sakasya sudana pum sakasya sudana pum sakasya so su out just i am out only those five are the sannyas of of um, sarvanamasthana the other the following these they don't so because of 1143 sudana pum sudana pum sudana pum sudana pum sakasya sudana pum sakasya so now why is that important because if we have if we had sarvanamasthana sanya then we will get the numagamaha ugudacham sarvanamasthana yadhato because this pratyay shatru is an ugit is an ugit you get the numagamaha so with no numagamaha because the shatr shas does not have sanya sarvanamasthanam so the only sanya sutrani might look to be boring but they are important i think one of my one of my teacher was telling me that is this course in harvard they had this course where you only had this first adhyavashta adhyay and but by the time they got to the next semester next quarter what it was they were so ready because they knew all these sanyas they knew what is sarvanamasthanam what is ghee what is gu what is nadi what is ruddhi what is guna everything they knew so next time it came they were just very easy it's a frustrating course because you know you're not getting you just only looking at all these sanyas but they're very very important because they 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 tap into the following rules so anyway so shesh does not have sanya sarvanamasthanam so no numagamaha just we just simply do anubandha lopaha because of navibhakta navibhakta utsmaha sakarasi sanya na bhavati the usual rutva visarga ap apatata means those who are attacking Drupthan, we have also in shloka. I just put this one. That is drup is to be kind of proud or haughty or like arrogant, arrogant. Harsha Mohana Yoho, and pratyakta is added. Only thing here is that this this is in the active sense because it's akarma kadhatu. So because three four seventy two always for this three three step process which you've seen many 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 times. Kartari krit any any participle in krit pratyaha is as default kartari in the active sense but then comes tayoreva krityakta khanarthaha pratyakta can be used only in the passive tayoreva means bhava karmano ho eva finally comes gatyartha karmaka shlesha shingsthas vasajana raha jiryati bhyascha akarma ka dhatu we can can be in the um, active sense so dripta is those who are proud and not only that is one more that's why i don't like the term past passive participle it's a very not a good term because many times they are neither past nor passive they were not past nor they were they were arrogant right now not that they were arrogant like you know when you say ramayana wali hatah so wali was killed by ram wali is already dead he is he was killed he is not being killing right now he is already dead so that's that's a classic case of a past passive participle but this is not because they were arrogant right now not that they were arrogant before they're not arrogant now so this is neither past nor passive this is neither past nor passive it is true that the term past passive participle is used for pratyakta because of the adhikara of bhute which is sought today in that adhikara comes sutra sutram nishtha so as a default it will be bhute and by the sutra which you also just saw which is tayoreva krityakta khalartha it will be past it will be passive i'm sorry it will be passive so it will normally be a past not normally as a default i should say it will be past passive participle but that's not a good term to use because this very important upavada is down here simple example ramaha vanam gataha that's not that's not passive it's active it's active it's not passive when you say atram sitosmi i'm standing here that's neither past nor passive so we have to be careful and the sutram here is that then how do you make it how do you make it non past how do you make it in the in the present tense and there there is this kind of cryptic sutram of panini it says nitaktaha and then it says mati buddhi pujate bhyascha the dhatu in these meanings 
you know they will just look at the sutram in, in one in one second and for this sutram is not very clear sutram it leaves like a loophole for adding stuff so it says etad arthe vyascha dhatu bi vartaman arthe ikta pratya bhavati rajnya mata who is recognized by the king so rajnya mishta desired by the king rajnya buddha rajnya nyata so one who is desired wanted by the king recognized by the king one who is one who respected by the kings so these are all going to be so he respected right now not he respected before so but there is a loophole here is that anuk so look at this one anukta samuchaya arthas chakara let me put it in a document so this is the loophole is that anukta samuchay anuktam is what has not been said anukta uktam means anuktam anuktam is not been said samuchaya to include things which have not been explicitly explicitly mentioned anukta samuchaya this is a common kind of well trick you can say call it trick in the ashtadhyay which is that if you want to include things which panini has not specifically said you can you not we use the, the the commentators for us the job is easy it's already been done by them use the ch the ch is to say and means and other things also so that is this ch is used as an excuse as as a way as a technique as a trick to include things that are not specifically mentioned in sutram and this is an example so shilita rakshita kshanta akrishta jushta all of these rushta rushita and then you know look at this supta shaita ashita lupta all of these can be included included so now we can also include dupta in that so basically we we got our we got out of the bhute we got into vartamane by using this anukta samuchaya artha chakara this is another another technique in the ashtadhyayi in the vyakshanam we should be aware of that you know this is what the commentators use basically mahabhashyam in short uses these to include this term which otherwise would become apaniya prayoga so we should not so anukta samuchaya arthas chakar remember remember this phrase remember this phrase it will come in handy for you so sometimes you you will encounter that okay so now so it is it is kartari is also vartamane and then um then as i said you when you add a pratyaya always understand what meaning kasmin arthe prayuktayam pratyaya iti prashtavyam sada always ask don't just say rupa siddhir abhavat karyam samaptam okay we got the form so we are done we don't need to worry about it drupta so not like that we should know what is this this is in the active sense and it is not in the past tense so so um drupta is one who is proud right now not he but he was proud so then anuk then we get the um, rashakvata dite and this is anidhatu so anudatu padesha so eka cha upadesha anudatta stops the raga mahan drupta i think is that the vyakranam i think that's it for the shloka um oh and one more this thing about the ashamsa so this is this dhatu which is when it's you this dhatu shas like prashamsa you know shamsa so shamsati um so shams is like to narrate to tell to praise with prashamsa etc but anga shasi ichhaya means this when it when it's used after this um upasarga ang it becomes ichhaya so desire like ashasmahe that's a common blessing right vayam ashasmahe means we we wish we bless and kind also of, we you know desire so so that is this uh, this dhatu shas basically shasi dhatu patha is used with the uh, so anga shasi ti pathad ayam ang purva eva prayoktavya so this dhatu is only ang purva in this in this sense ang purva eva prayoktavya so now what we get is we get the because this because of the ikara and it idito num dhato which is in daily examples many many times you get the numagama uh, then of course vidachon kyat para it goes after the akara in shas and then we anuband the lopa by halantyam uh, upadesha jananna sikait then we get the anuswara desha by nascha pratantasya jali see all these you should repeat 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 i heard them 5000 times many more times also because then only you they stick in your brain abhyasena griyate as gita says right abhyasena griyate is that by practice only you will get them and then as i said to you when you're sick of hearing them it's time to pass on to somebody else so 8324 then ashams and now the sutram how to form a feminine noun from this as i mentioned to a few times is that um uh 
So why do we have this here? I think this is, this, I think, give me one second, I'm sorry. I think this is a typo here. Um, no, okay. Okay, this looks like an extra. This should not be in the document here. I don't know why this is here. I'm sorry. Let me take it out of here. I don't think this is required here. This should Okay, just ignore this part. I think it's in the wrong place, this one. So, um, okay. Now, in the Ashtadhyayi, in the third chapter, the third padaha, tritiya se tritiya, tritiya se tritiya padhe, tritiya se adhyayi se tritiya padhe. So, nama shabdaha nishpadhyante, nishpadhyante. So, these nouns are created by Panini from from dhatus. Start with the sutram, punadeyo bahulam. From here, and within that, there is this adhikara striyam kitin, striyam kitin. So, as a default, when you want to create a feminine noun, mani dhatuhu pratyaktin shivyarad, like, you know, bhuti, kriti, you know, gati, mati, all of these. And then, uh, but then there is a special sutram here, which says that, apratyat. Pratyat, I'm sorry, Gurosh Chahalaha, sorry, Gurosh Chahalaha. Gurosh Chahalaha means that if you have Halanta Dhatu, remember we need Adhikara of Dhato Ho, Dhato Ho, Dhato Ho. This is Visheshanam for the Dhatus, Halanta Dhato Ho, Dhatu ending in a Hal, which has a Guruman Ach in there, which has a, which has a Ach, which is Guru, which is, Guru means Dirghavali Guru and Sanyoge Guru, Dirghascha, right? So Sanyoge Guru, so this is all, again look at another Sanya. So Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, this will come in this will come in chapter one. Sanyoge, Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, chapter one number one four eleven. Sanyoge Guru Dirghancha. So what we have here is that we have this 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 Akara of the Shams that has become Guru now. See Lagu I mean Raswa Dirga is an isolation. But Guru and Lagu depends on the context. So Akara is, is Rasvaha, that's fine. But when it's followed by Sanyogaha, it becomes Guru. So so because this Akara of Shams is now become a Guru Akaraha. So following that, uh, this is also a typo here. It should be like this. No, correct, correct. I'm sorry, yes. So we, what we do is that, this is correct. So Shams, this Akara is Guru because Sanyoga Guru. You have the you have the Anuswara and Sakara there. Because Nakara, Sakara, Sanyoka is there. So they became a Guru. So, so Guru Chala is a Sutram. If you have Halanta Dhatu, which has a Guru Manach in there, then it takes a Pratya O to form a feminine. Like, Laksh, Laksh become Raksha. You know, so all these, all these feminines now. So, Iha becomes Iha. You know, so there, there are these very nice feminine nouns which are formed for this. So Raksha is the same thing. In Dhatu Raksha, the Akara is Sanyoge Guru. So because of that, you get the um, Opratyaha. Then of course, after that, you get Ajadhyata, Shtap. So get like how about Seva? The, the verb Save becomes Seva. Raksha becomes Raksha. How about Himsa? Hims becomes Himsa. Same thing there, Sanyoge Guru. Hims, the Ikara has become Guru. So this is Gurosh Chahalaha. There are only very few rules over here, how to form a feminine noun. So if you know the Ashtadhyay territory, you have to ask the question, why not Sriyam Tin? That should be the question, because that's the default Pratyaya. But then the special sutram is Gurosh Chahalaha. So now after that you add the Pratyaya, top on top, as we say, add top on top, Sriyam Adhikaraha. And nothing can be used in the feminine unless it is inspected. Striyamadhikara, always remember that. And the very first sutram there is Ajadhyatashtap. That's why we do not have any Pratibhadikam in the feminine, any basically, which is ending in Akara. It always takes stop on top of it. <laughs> if it doesn't, it may take a Ikaraha. You may get, there may be Apavadas, but still the Akara will not stay as an Akara. It will take top on top of it. So Ashramsa is a feminine noun. I mean, Chutu Halantyam and then Akasavindhirka. Okay, so let us go. So when you want to do this one for us, sir? Because we have Nagaraji is there, but if you are there, when we can do it. Sure, yes, sir. Okay, uh, thank you, Nagaraji, for being there. But since Vain is our special guest, Vishesh Pradur, Vishesh Pradur Bhavaha, Vishesh Pradur Bhavaha, special appearance, special appearance. Okay, let's do. Uh, the descendant of Raghu. Raghavaha. Raghavaha. Seeing, having observed. Uh, preksha. Preksha. 
these or those whatever tan tan haughty arrogant driptan driptan rakshasa is understood from the context Tripta. making a rush on him apatata 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 dvitiya bhavachanam with weapons ready to be flung flung udayudhan udayudhan placed deposit interest interested nidadhe 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 ha i think tidha nidadhe padam comes there is there is a famous veda mantra tidha nidadhe nidadhe padam vishnu placed his feet in three strides tidha nidadhe nidadhe padam so anyway that's vedic but still it is recited any time you put in a puja when you have a break in a yajna something you decide this mantra again to start the yajna again so tridha nidade padam means that vishnu you know he, he put in the vamana avatara nidade he placed he placed his foot in three you know three regions so anyway so nidade he just clicked in my head so just thought about it so he interested he placed uh, uh, where was placed okay he is understood yeah he is understood hope of victory ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣೆಕ್ಟ್ ನವೀನ್ ಮೈಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಿರ್ದೋಷ ನಿರ್ದೋಷ ಧ್ವನಿ ನಿರ್ದೋಷ ಧ್ವನಿ ಸೊ ಉದಾಯುಧಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಉದ್ಯತ ಆಯುಧಾನ್ ಸಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಈಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಯತ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಉದ್ಯತ ಆಯುಧಾನ್ ಆಪತ ಇಸ್ ಆಗಚ್ಛಂತ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ಆಗಚ್ಛತ ಸಾರಿ ಸೊ ಪತತ್ ಸಿ ಪತ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಾಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೀ ದೇ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ basically they were coming towards him they kind of attacking him so he he replaces the path with gum so they were not really falling but they were like kind of coming towards attacking him agachata ha driptan stan he specifies kharadin so kharadi i'm sorry so this yes that question yes when it's um, <clears throat> no shatru because if it's passive it will be bhavakrama will be only shanach so shatru has to be active remember one this is a golden rule when in this language the mm-hmm. passive is always takes atmane padam always 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 so fact that shatru pratya is that it has to be active because in the passive you can only use atmane padam and tangana atmane padam so this is active this is active i was talking about driptan was the one they're talking about how it became that's the word. but this is this has to be active so they were the ones who were attacking was so agachata dhuptans then tan kharadin specifies that preksha ragava chape vijayasya he, he he does the compounding for you vijayasya asham sam again why does he do that not because to explain the compound because he wants to make a comment of asham sam all this 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 some this samasa is 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 sugamaha It's an easy compound. You will almost never get a comment to Shashti Samasaha. Almost never. If you are getting a comment to Shashti Samasaha, it's for some other reason. Not, not for the Samasaha itself. So here why he is doing that, Vijaya Svishin is many times before, Vijaya Svishin is Asham Sam, because he wants to clarify, Asham Sam is Asham. Because Asham Sam is like a blessing, wish. So Asham means like the prospect of victory. Asham he makes it an easier word, uh, Asham Sam. lakshmane sitam cha nidade then he says basically he, he paraphrases the whole thing for you sita rakshane sita ya rakshane lakshmanam niyujya having appointed laksh, lakshmanah in to protect sita swayam yuddhaya sannadha iti bhavah so this is the whole gist of the whole shloka what it means is that the poetic way of saying that he placed the victory of hope on the hope of victory on on his on his bow and he placed it that means that having entrusted 
again the same lya pratyaha having entrusted sita's protection to lakshmana then he himself he became ready for war swayam yuddhaya sannadhaha but now i know why sannadha in the in my in my because i had it here dhatu is na bandhane na is to bind to bind sannadha again this is the same thing this neither past nor passive because he became ready he was ready for war sannadhaya bhava he is ready for war so this doesn't have to be passive this have i'm sorry it's not passive because he got ready and then he is doesn't have to be passed either because he's ready for war now you know so dhatu nah bandhane and the same thing i put over here this one which is the uh, uh 32188 which is uh mati buddhi uh puja mati buddhi puja arte bhishcha sutra puja arte bhishcha and then uh, same thing which akarma ka dhatu so gatya artha karma ka etc it becomes act it becomes active anubandha lopaha the special sutra here is that normally you had had this is a anudat upadesha dhatu ho because in the dhanteshu list the dhatu nad sorry hanteshu dhatu na because we have hanteshu dah dih duh nah so dhatu na anid dhatu anudat upadesha i should say no idagamaha normally hold ha should have come it should comes naho dha so as i said to you in the yesterday's class and i said to you is whenever parnini specifically has to mention a term in a sutram pay attention to that because why is parnini wasting a sutram spending i should say for that he will avoid that for at every cost but this is you know he has to make it make it make it as sankshiptam as possible but he is not able to for some reason parnini is not able to to reduce the use put this somewhere else as a general as a more generalized rule there is something special about this term you have to pay attention to that that, that parnini is telling you that that this thing is exceptional so he singles out this one single dhatu na to to say that instead of getting hold ha ha you get the hakarasya dhakara desha so naho dha naho dha we can dhakara desha then we get the chashtator dhodha this is a chaturtha varna jash following that the takara becomes dhakara and then jalam jashya shi nadha sannadha means like my father always tell me sannadho bhava be alert be attentive be ready always sannadho bhava sannadho you mean when as a young boy was a sannadho bhava be ready be ready be alert be alert sannadho bhava okay next shloka let's take the next one um eko dashratish kamam vyatudhana sahasrashah te tu yavant evajau tavanshch dadrishe satayhi eko dashratish kamam दाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशरथिदाशर
but Gita is very very good Vyakarana why there are only a handful of places where the rules of Panini kind of bent but there is one place in chapter 12 in chapter 12 where there is this here it is Nivasishya Simayeva Atta Urdhvanna Samushayaha immediately pick out the naked vowel always you should be trained for that here we have the Akaraha which is standing it's not the beginning of the, of course, the beginning of the sentence there's nothing to worry about but there's nothing prior to it if there's something prior to it Sandhi Karyam Kasva Najjata Miti Prashtavyam why has Sandhi not taken place between Ataha and Urvam we got Lopas Shakalya yes, taking place Sasaju Shoruho then Bho Bhago Agho Apurasya Yoshi Lopas Shakalya yes, and then Purutra Siddha but what about this one Mai, okay, Mai Eva you got the Yen Sandhi then Eva and Ataha should be in Eva Ata this should have been Evata. So this is a place where Vyasa, whoever compromises the Vyakaranam for the Chandonurodhat, Chandonurodhat, Chandonurodhat. Chandonurodhat means to preserve the meter. The meter is top priority. Vyakaranam comes second. Because if you don't have the meter, you cannot memorize these verses. You can chant them. <laughs> and that nothing is written, so you have to chant. So that Vyakaranam can, because it is, you know, Spashtam. So, and many times you'll have this violation between the two, so Padayor Madhye, Padayor Madhye, this is one Pada, so this is like a half violation, because between two Padas you have a kind of this little bit of a pause, you know, so there is this, this is, this is, this is only a small violation. Anyway, the bottom line is that always, always, always pick out this vowel, which has not gone to Sandhya the prior element, just stop. It could be Lopash, could be Purutra Siddham, or it could be a, well, Visandhi Dosha, what they call Black of Sandhi. That happens only a few times. But if you chant like the Chandipatha, Dei Mahatmyam, there are many of these. So there are many, many of these, many of these. So don't, don't expect it to be, you know, always. So there might be just a lack of Sandhi, like in this case. So anyway, coming back to Shloka, here is that. Yeah, this is this is in this case Lopasha. And this is this is this is Kalidasa. He is not going to most likely he will not do these kind of things. Most likely this will not be okay. So Yavantaha, go ahead. Eva Ajav. Eva Eva Ajav. No, try again. Ajav. Oh, Eva okay. Ajav. It's Aji, Aji. Comes in Devi Mahatyam. Tishtam Ajav Stiro Bhava, the Devi says to Shumbha, chapter ten. Be ready for war. Aja Ustiro Bhava. Be firm in battle. Be fight with me now. Tishtam me Aja Ustiro Bhava. Devi Mahatyam. After Gita, <laughs> Devi Mahatyam. Shivana Shloka is also, this this word Aji is not in Gita. I don't think it is. It is in Devi, chapter 10 of Devi Mahatyam. Tishtam me Aja Ustiro Bhava. Okay. So, Eva Aja. Okay. Tawan. 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 Cha. Sure, this is a Sandhi, we will come to that, okay. Dadrishe. Dadrishe. Saha. Saha. Taihi. Taihi. Okay, when this is, any chance of sutra may between Saha and Taihi, why not Sas Taihi? Okay, that one is 661132. Six, one, one, Etat Tadoho. Sulopo Koranyan. So, uh, Etat Tadoho. Sulopo Koranyan Samase Hali. Sulopo Koranyang Samase Hali, which means that we can forget these two conditions, rare conditions. So we can say Etat and Tad, the Su, Supratya, Pratama Ekvachanam, takes Lopa Hali. So any Hal follows, takes Lopa. So Etat Tadoho, Sulopo Koranyang Samase Hali, Akoho Anyang Samase Hali. Okay, so that's the last one here. This one, Tavamscha, again, we won't spend time in this class because this has been taken daily examples many, many times. This Sutram Naschavya Prashan, Naschavya Padanta Nakaraha, followed by letter Chav letter. Chav means basically it comes down to the Chacha, Tatha, Tatha, one of these six. Padanta Nakara followed by one of these six. What happens is that, that Nakara takes the Ruha Deshaha, and Tatsanyogena means in connection with that, in connection with that you get also the Anuswara as an Agamaha by this 834. So 834 along with, so 837 makes the Nakara as a Ru and 834 puts the Anuswara Agamaha. 
All these have been covered in daily examples many, 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 many times. If you want to practice these, just come to the website and you enter 837 over here. You'll get you'll get a lot of examples on it. Nashchavya Prashan. Nashchavya Prashan. So we see it's Padanta Nakarha followed by a chav. Nashchavya Prashan. So please practice these. This should be, let me see, it should come up here. There's a lot of examples. See, Nashchavya Prashan, many places. That's the Sandhi Karim going on there. And then, of course, when the roo comes, you get, you know, Rubanda Lopaha, Karavasani, Visajaniya, Visajaniya Saha, and then Stoshchuna Shchuhu. So the Visarga goes through its usual route, the roo. So, Tavam Shcha. So, uh, comes in Gita. Eya Tavam Prabhadyante, Tam Satayva Bhajam Yaham, Mumavartvan Vartante, Manushya Partha Sarvashaha. Chapter 4 of Gita. Which I come in Gita in many places. But this chapter, for me, if I quickly show it to you in Gita, is this, Ye athamam prapadyante tam satayva bhajam yaham. As people worship me, I respond to them correspondingly. So, Ye athamam prapadyante, as they approach me, so I respond to them. Here it is, tam satayva, tan tathayva. It should be padanta nakaraha, followed by a letter cha, which is cha cha, ta cha, ta cha. So, tan satayva, become tan satayva. Okay, Tavam Shcha Dadrishe Chasatayihi. This is clearly a Kasame Dirgha, a local shakal is here, coming here. Okay, let's follow the Vyakhyanam. Let's, okay, let's attack the thing. You can find a Tingantam Padam here for us. Tingantam Padam, which is, which is the Tingantam Padam? Which one you think it is here? Uh, Eko Dadrishe. What Dhatu is clearly Drishir Prekshane. What kind of form you think this is? You want to take a shot at it? First of all, the drish has not taken the pashya deshaha. That means that this is not going to be either lat, lot, lang, or vidiling. In those cases, the pratyasha would come. Leaves, um, that leaves lung. Hmm? No, lung takes an adagamaha. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, we just had this. We just said, neither we just had neither there right here. Neither there, right? Dadrishe, mm -hmm. similar thing, very similar. Dadrishe. So it's the same, little karaha, patham purusha ek vachanam, but now it's the atmane padam. What does that tell you then? That means it is passive. Yeah, very good. Yeah. So, siddhrijato, siddhrijata, <laughs> success. <laughs> so, dadrishe means he, if somebody was seen, not that he saw, but somebody was seen. So, Dasharathihi Dadrishe, Rama was seen. Taihi Dadrishe, Rakshasaihi Dadrishe. So, he was seen by the Rakshasas. And Tavam, Tavan, Tavan Dadrishe, he was seen that much. How much? Tetu Yavantaha, as many they were, that many they saw him. So, he was seen that many by them. So, one for each. <laughs> <laughs> so as many they were, so each of them basically he was seen by each of them fighting with him. So te tu yavantaha eva ajao. So as many as they were, tawancha dadrishe satayhi. So he was seen that much by them. So and then first, so that's the, now we got the basic sentence. So eko dashrathi kamam. Kamam means so what? So be it. Who cares? Basically, kamam is who cares. It's okay, you know, what's the big deal? That's this kamam. This kamam is an avyayam. It's an avyayam. It could also be pratama aditya ek vachanam of the kama shabdaha, but let's look at apte for kamam. So kamam is an avyayam, which means, you know, uh, so what? Let it be. It's okay. No big deal. That is kamam. So kamam. Koro to kamam. Let him do. So what? So kamam is an avyayam, and that means... According to wish, yatha kama means, okay, as you want, agreeable to desire, to the heart's content, willingly, joyfully, very well, very well, okay, okay, just basically okay, kama means okay, very well, so be it, granted or admitted that, through that, no doubt, okay, then it's tathapi, so it is so, even then, so kama, indeed, forsooth, really, 
better rather usually so there are different meanings i think here it meaning is that you know okay fine okay fine so what so eko dashati kamam so dashati eko bhuva he was one yatu dhana sahasrasha they were by the thousands sahasrasha will come to sutram here means in like groups of thousands thousand by thousand so they were thousands but but two is the but that is the which apte was saying here is that is that it is often followed by see kamam granted admitted that okay no doubt it's generally followed by two tathapi yet still okay okay fine they may be he may be one and they may be with thousands but that's that's this so this kamam to kamam for by this, this is a construct this is how you learn to speak the language you get all these idiomatic usages so kamam means okay fine but as many as they were he was seen by them that much on the battlefield means each one of them saw him like that Let's look at the commentary. Dasharathi is a sandhi going on here. Dasharathi Ramaha. We get the rori happening over here, and dhalo pe puro se dhir ghornaha. So this, like in our prayer, we have right. Nishachar chamu Rama tasme nuha. So Dasharathi it was here. So we got sasaju shoru anubandlo anubandlo pa anubandlo pa. Excuse me. Then you got rori. Then dhalo pe puro se dhir ghornaha. Then who is Dasharathi? He's clarifying the Rama. Could have been Lakshmana. Could have been Bharata. The Rama. We're going to come. To, I will come to the grammar in a second. A kaha adviti yaha. So this is a very compound. So in yesterday's in yesterday's class we had this many many time, right? So this sutram is uh, so avidya man ha adviti yaha. Yes, yes. One who didn't have a second. One without just single, without a second. I kaha means adviti yaha. Means just one without a second. So this sutram two two twenty four, this varthi come here which is in great detail in yesterday's class. Ninyo ninyo stirtha naam bahuvri here. Vacha uttar pada vacha uttar pada lopascha bhakta vyaha. So avidya manha putra ha aputra ha. So advitiya avidya manha advitiya. So just single. Yatu dhana ha kamam sahasra shaha. Santiti Sheshaha. So he's completing this. There is this is a basically a fragment. He supplied the verb Santi. Santi Dish. Iti Sheshaha. Iti Adhyarutam. He assumed that. So the, he he was one while they were by the thousands. So, Tai he by who Yatu Dhana he. See always, 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 always. Let's learn some Malinatha. The lesson. When you have a pronoun or an adjective, always identify the underlying noun. See, he did it beautifully here. Dasharath is an adjective. This is Dasharathasya Apatyam Puman, one who is a descendant of Dasharath, so progeny, offspring. So Dasharath, he he clarified Ramaha, adjective. Then Taihi is a pronoun. Clarified Yatu Dhanaihi. So always, always make it a habit, please, because the adjectives and pronouns do not have their gender number case. They're borrowing it from somebody else, so always identify who that is, what that is. To Saha again Ramaha, same thing. Saha Ramaha, he, Ajao, he didn't, he didn't means Ranangane, Yudhe. Te Yatudha, Te again Yatud. Look at all these pronouns hanging around. So Teihi Yatudha nehi. Saha Ramaha, Te Yatudha na ha. So clarifying all of these. ते यातुधाना हाँ यावंता हाँ यावत संख्या का हाँ दिस अगेन द वेंसडे क्लास लुक एट द कप प्रत्यय एट द एंड ऑफ अ कंपाउंड टोल्ड यू दिस इज वन थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल टू आईडेंटिफाई अ बहुव्रही कंपाउंड समासांता हाँ एंड गीता एग्जाम व्हिच ऑल डी गेव इन द वेंसडे क्लास इज इडंते in the end of the Gita, the Gita should not be given to somebody who is without tapas. Idante na tapaskaya. So, idante na tapaskaya. Na bhaktaya kadaya. So, avidyamanam tapo yasya saha. Pratya kap. So, here your pratya kap at the end. Try to identify that. It's a very nice device to spot bahuvri compounds. And the sutram not going into too much detail because during the Wednesday class in a lot of detail is this Shesha Dvibhasha.
शेषाद विभाषा इज दैट ए ए बहुरी कंपाउंड व्हिच हैज बीन फॉर्म बाय द सूत्र मनिक मन्य पदार्थ है व्हिच इज एंड देन व्हिच आफ्टर व्हिच देयर हैज बीन नो अदर समासांत प्रत्यास यूज्ड स्पेसिफाइड दैट कैन टेक कप ऑप्शनली वन मोर टाइम शेषाद मींस देयर इज नो अदर बहुरी समास व्हिच हैज बीन व्हिच हैज बीन डिस्कवर आफ्टर दैट इट्स इन द it is in anekamanya padarthe the bahuvrik samasah then it can take vibhasha optionally kap so here we have the pratya kap so yavat sankhya kah so yavati sankhya yesham te so they are those whose numbers were that much that many numbers yavat sankhya kah eva tavan becomes tavat tavat sankhya kascha tadrishe so सो तावती संख्या यस्य सहा बहुत कप एट द एंड सो ही वाज सीन सच दैट हिज नंबर वाज दैट मच सो व्हाटएवर दैट नंबर वाज ही वाज सीन विद द नंबर ऑफ दैट मच सो व्हाट इट मींस सो ही इज क्लेरिफाइंग दिस यावंतह एज मेनी एज दे वर ही वाज सीन दैट मच मींस व्हाटएवर देयर नंबर वाज ही आल्सो बिकेम दैट नंबर दैट दैट मेनी दैट फोल्ड यू कैन से दैट मेनी लेट्स लुक एट द व्याकरणम क्विकली व्हाट वी हैव हियर फर्स्ट थिंग दाशरथी दि अधिकार ऑफ तस्यापत्यम तस्यापत्यम बिकॉज पाणिनी स्टार्ट्स दि अधिकार ऑफ तद्धिता फ्रॉम 4176 वन थिंग इन दिस क्लास आई कीप ऑन डूइंग ओवर एंड ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन इज गोइंग टू द अष्टाध्यायी अधिकार वी हैव टू समहाउ गेट दैट मैप इन योर ब्रेन यदि व्याकरणे नैपुण्यम अभीष्टम इफ यू वांट नैपुण्यम व्याकरणम You have to have the ashtadhyay rachana. Ye ne kena prakare na buddha usthapit sthapayi tavya sthapayi tavya. You have to somehow get the ashtadhyay rachana in your head. Na bhyasi ne griyate. So the dita has starts from here, and the first adik first arthanidesha which Pandini gives is tasyapatyam. Since so tasyapatyam, the four pratyaya was coming from here, which is the prag the vyaton and was coming. When the specific sutra Pandini gives atai, atai. If you add them, don't forget one more thing. We are the dikar of nyaya pratipadikat. Start from four one two. First of all, we are the dikar of pratya parashya. Come from three one one three one two. Then nyaya pratipadikat. So we are pratipadikam. Because atai means we are pratipadikam ending in akara. The pratya i is to be used by halantyam anubandalo pe ikara. Because of, because of this this nyaya as an it, we get the सौमद So if you have a person called Somadatta, his son becomes Somadattista Thayi Vacha. Anya Chabahabashura. Always keep the Gita scanning in your brain continuously, playing in your brain. Try to catch as much as you can from the Gita. Somadattista Thayi Vacha. Somadatti. So Somadatta Sya Apatyam Puman Somadatti. Very simple, exactly the same. Here, of course, you got the Su becomes, sorry, So became सौ सो वृद्धियादेश सौ मदत्ति एंड हियर वी गाट दि सिमिलर थिंग दि आकार आकार दशरथ प्लस म्यस प्लस ई सो तस्पत्यम देन अतई देन समुदाय प्रतिपादिपति संज्ञा सामसाश्च सुपो धातु प्रादिपति कौ सुप्लोक then halantyam it sanya एंड देन तदितेश देहे दाशे एंड देन इन ऑनर ऑफ वेन टुडे तस्य सामनार्थम ओके वैन गो फॉर इट यचिभम यस्येति च सो दि अंगम यस्येति च दैट्स योर न्यू नेम यचिभम यस्येति च बिकॉज़ वी हैव द प्रत्यय व्हिच इज स्वादि स्वादि इंक्लूड्स ऑल द दिता हा ओसी प्रत्यय आल्सो इट इज अ इज अजादि द अंगम गस्त भसन्या एंड देन अंगम इट्स इन इन द अवर्णः ई वर्णान्तस्य अवर्णान्तस्य भसन्यक अंग से लोप होती तदिके चाई कारे चे परे 
So Dashrathi, and then we do that. Sahasrashaha is when this sutram 5443, when in, in group batches, in batches of 1000, like in batches. So that's 5443. Sankhika Vachanacha Vipsaya, means Vipsaya means repetition, like 1000 in batches of 1000, in groups of 1000, 1000 by 1000 by 1000 by 1000. Comes in Gita also, Shutta Shutta Sahasrashaha, in chapter 11 itself. Then Yavan is formed by Yat Pariman another Taddita Prayoga. Yat Parimanam Asya Yavan. See these two things make this language very powerful is these Taddhitas and the Samas. But what we call Vrittis. Vrittis. If people say Samshutam is hard to speak, hard to express, express things in Samshutam. But if you know the Samasas and the Taddhitas, Krut Pratyas also of course, then you can really uh, express a lot of things very, very succinctly, very in a very uh, kind of a nice manner by by uh, using these pratyas and the compound formation. So yat parimana masya yavan. Look at how nicely Malinatha gave it to us. He says yavat sankhya kaha means they were such that the number was that much, and he was such his number was correspondingly that much. So. Um, Okay, so let's do this one. Yat parimanam masya yavan. So this sutram is 5 to 3. This tadhita is hard to master. There are a lot of pratyas. Lot of, but if you, as when you encounter one, try to look it up and see if you can, you know, uh, get a hand. So yat tadde te bhyaha. So following this pradipadikaan, you will be an adhikara of nya pradipada, which we just said nya pradipadikaat. So pradipadikam yat tad or etad parimane vatup. This is not the same vatup as the vatup coming later over here. Which is this one? Tadasya astya spinyati matup. Matup becomes vatup. That's different from this one. This is parimane matup. Parimane means measure. Man is to measure. Whose extent? The extent is that much. So yavan is, so comes in Gita, chapter 2. Yavan artha udapane sarvatasam druta odeke tavan sarveshu vedeshu brahmanasya vijanataha. Chapter 2. So as much use is there in the well when there's water flooding on all sides, that much is the use. Means no use basically. For a Brahmana who knows. So that is what Yavan Arthodapani Sarvatasam Tutodake Tavan Sarveshu Vedeshu Brahman Sivijanataha. Um Karman I think is it uh, Yeah, coming here. Uh, 46 Yavan Arthodapani Sarvat. It's an adjective, it's qualifying Artha in this case, Udapani. So, okay, so you get Yat plus Su plus Vatup, so it is that which extent is how much, that much, how much. So, you know, Yat, that relative pronoun, what's in English we call relative pronoun, relative pronoun. So, Yat plus Su plus Vatup, and this is 5239, Yat, Tade, Te, Bhya. If you encounter any new sutram, always recite it many times. So, Yat, Tade, Yat, Tade, Te, Bhya, Parimane, Vatup, Parimane, Vatup. There's no other way. There's no other way to magically just memorize all these sutras. You have to keep on practicing and actually you have to carefully keep on teaching. If you don't teach, you will never learn anything. Because if you come into the end of this, see this class, in fact, now that Vain is in the class, too, this class started back when, 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 2003 maybe was it? 2003 or 2004, something around there? This class started eight, yeah, it's, it's for 2003, wasn't it? 2003 was yeah. it? Yeah, I think I came to you 2003, yeah. So it was 2003, this class has been going for 8 years now. It's going to finish by the way, Vain, in a few weeks, if you can hang on with us. And Vain is the only person who's been for 8 years. I mean, <laughs> off and on, we know it's, that's why it's called Vain. We don't know when he's coming. But, Tasmad Vain iti ucchate. But 8 years, for 8 years. Yeah. So you have to teach, you have to keep on teaching. And I can see the change in myself for all those years. You know, it is, it is really night and day. Night and day difference. So now we come. Of course, most of you didn't join eight years, but uh, keep, try to teach somebody else if you can. That's the only when adhyapane na eva saraswati santushta bhavati suprita bhavati. So she becomes pleased only with adhyapana. Um, okay, so yet so that's there's no other magical way to keep on practicing and if possible teaching. So five to thirty nine pratyavatup comes here. Rest of it is straightforward. The samudaya gets the Kritita Samasa, Ascha Pradvidika Sanya, then Supodhatu Pradvidika Yoho. Um, 
then upadeshana nasika it upadeshana nasika thalantyam so yavat then comes special sutram 6391 6391 as i mentioned to you that when something happens in a compound so pura padam look for 63 but not only compound sometimes parani mixes some sutras in there where something happens to the pratipadikam in taditha prayoga so now when we look at 63 should immediately think of something is happening to a pura padam in a compound but that is not always the case because sometimes panini groups some things in there which is not in a compound they are in tadita so this asarana namna so this sutra is you know drig drish vatushu so see these couple of these were compounds in then in that then that panini stick sticks one pratya in tadita pratya in there So you see what happens here there was a common operation like idruk tadruk yadruk these are compounds but then in that panini also stuck this pratya vatup vishadya pratya so yes 6.3 is predominantly referring to an operation have the pura padam in a compound but don't assume every sutra every single thing will be like that because panini will use a nice advantage situation with the same operation takes in taditha and he will put that there also so this is example of that so asarva namna 6391 6391 and this basic you get the akara adesha sarva namna akaro anta adesha syad drug drishan vatu vatu sho so tadruk yadruk and also yavan tavan so get yavat and then you know yavanta because this is a ugit so get numagamah This is, this is this is decline like bhagavat so we won't do this in the class you know so decline like bhagavat i tried to do it here anyway so you got the anuji's favorite sutra which is the atvasantasya uh, chadhato you can copyright some adhikaras in ashtadhyayi so this this adhikara is copyrighted by anuji this is the upada dirgha atvasantasya chadhato and then you get numagma also uh by this is alternate daily example with the chamsar namastani dhato so yavanta tavan so yavan tavan yavanta same this coming here then this just this, this is not really but yati ti yatuh is yatu dhana so yatu is one is sense of one who goes around causing trouble basically rakshasa yati ti yatu vishesh vishishta ratro yati one who one who prowls one who prowls this unadi sutram is there See, one of these you can accept them as they are. The Sepani doesn't give them a prominent place because they are kind of in the border line with something which can be derived from a dhatu and which maybe just you accept the word as it is. So yatu ni, then comes yatu dhana, yatu ni raksha ni dadhati pushnati swajati poshakatvat. This is from the commentary in the Amar Kosha by Bhanuji Dikshita, Bhanuji. Bhanuji Satsan of Bhattoji, so he gives a commentary. Is one who, one who kind of uh, supports these yatus. So he's he's a he's a king rakshasa, I guess. So he he is a he he maintains or bears or supports these yatu. So yatu ni rakshaunsi dadhati pushnati yatu dhana ha pratyay yuch. Again, one of these sutram. Good pratyay lut by Bahulam also becomes another yuranako yatu dhana ha. So dhatu is ya is there, dhatu dha is there. So this is formed. Then now ajau, ajanti kshipanti shastra dikam yatra ajihi sangrama. So ajau is I think is is, is gati kshepana yo. That in which the weapons get thrown around, get hurled. That is ajihi. Ajihi is is yudham, is sangrama. Yudham. Uh, so ajihi is by the sutram. In 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 a jadi bhya. Look at the number again. This is Vartikam one. That sutram to form a feminine noun. Striyam kthin. This Vartikam comes three three one zero eight. This aj aj dhatu takes the in pratyaha. Because the nakara we get the atopadhaya ha, and then we make dhatu aji. So aji means akshipanti. Akshipanti shadi kam yatra. Okay, sir, you ready, sir? When you ready? So we got few more weeks, man. So this is after eight years. So let's see if we can complete this one. Oh, we are okay. not going to be done, are we? We are going to continue, right? 
Well, we're probably going to be done with this class after, you know, this, this because, you know, this whole thing started with the end of the Antoine book, we had the Gumu yes. Shakavim. We started from chapter right. 9, we started. So right. we figured we finished the Ramakatha, you know, mm -hmm. because now what's happening is that we're getting so many examples every day, so we'll continue through the examples, you know. Okay. That's what we will do. Let's see what happens. But, yeah, okay. so this class will possibly probably be, you know, till the end of this, this Sarga. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me stack it for you. Um... Okay, granted, granted that. What do you Kamam. think? That? Kamam. So be it. So what? Who cares? What's the big deal? So granted that. The son of Dasharatha is? Dasharatihi. Was you supply that? Asid. All alone is? Ekaha. Ekaha. Advitiya. All alone. And that, 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 see, that, that Advitiya is sense of all alone. Ekaha means one. Advitya means all alone. This good okay. translation. Mm -hmm. And is I think understood. Right. Rakshasas Yatudhana uh -huh. were count were by the thou were by thousands. Sahasrasha. Sahasrasha. Nevertheless two. Two, yes. And then um they. no they is actually in the passive. Okay, let, sorry, yeah. They they saw Miss he was seen by them. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> sweet. Because in English, the passive is not idiomatic. If you if you if you go to Microsoft Word, you get a red underline there. <laughs> You'll get a red underline. Yeah, right. <laughs> Word will not, if you go to Microsoft Word, they will not like this usage <laughs> in English. You'll get the underline grammatical error. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. So they saw basically taihi So he right. was seen by them. Yes. So, because they saw and coming is him to so make it make it. So they saw him is he was seen by them. So they is the Saha, they, yes. he saw the and Saha. Saha is really his yeah. thumb is really Saha him. So in the battle, uh, Ajau. Ajau. to be just as numerous. Tawan. Mm, so no, Tawan is this one. Tawan. So as they themselves, that's the, so they is te, yavantaha. So as they themselves is te, yavantaha. Tawan, tawan, chadadrishe, he was seen as, just as numerous is the tawan. So tavati sankhya yasya saha, one whose number was that much. Okay, this is not very difficult shloka, it's quite straightforward. Uh, only thing of the passive with this one, then the word aji is this uh, yuddham sam, sam, sangramaha. In the Avyam Kamam we saw, Yatudhana is also a sort of strange word. Okay. So said, Yatudhana, yeah. the Markosha says that they are cannibals? No, he says Yatu is one who... Sojati, Sojati... Poshakaha. So Rakshasa, because Posha, the word Rakshas. So, so some Rakshas is Rakshaha, one who protects only himself. He is very selfish. He doesn't care about others. So, Poshakaha. No, not, not Bhakshakaha. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, Poshakaha. So, one who, one, who only, one who only cares about his own, not about others. So, so. Asajjanena kakutstaha prayuktam athadushanam na chakshame shubhacharaha sadushanam vivatmanaha. So, there's a bit of poetry coming over here. Let's see what to say. Let's see what again. Asajjane na kakutstaha. Prayuktam matha dushanam. Na chakshame shubhacharaha. Sa dushanam vivatmanaha. Oh, it went. Try for the cheda for us. See what you can do. We'll put the cheda for us. Wait. Asajjanena. Asajjanena. Kakustaha. Straightforward. Sajjanaha. So it's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kakustaha. Kakustaha. Prayuktam. Prayuktam. Atha. Atha. Dushanam. Dushanam. Na. Aha. Uh -huh. Chakshame. Chakshame. That's the thing on Tampadam. Chakshame. In fact, look at this. This is also could be one intentional, by the way. Look at Kalidasa. He goes back to back. Neither day he had here. Dadrishe. And Chakshame. This is also we have to observe some of these salient points. Is that back to back he has used this this uh Tajoreshirech, how we got the A car over here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show that I'm sorry, just one second. In the document 
I think I did the form Dadrishya, did I? Yeah, Dadrishya, I didn't do it, but anyway, we know it's a password. It's the same, it's the same uh, repetition in three shlokas back to back. So it's Atmane Padam, Patham Purusha Ekavachanam, it's a little car. Chakshame, okay, go ahead. <coughs> Shubha Acharaha, Shubha Acharaha. It's a Samastam Padam, Shubha Acharaha. Saha. Saha. Dushanam. Dushanam. Eva. Correct. Atmanaha. This is the, this is the Kalidasa Syopama. So Eva is coming here. This is a play on the word Dushanam, by the way. That Dushanam, he is making a pun on Dushanam. Dushayatiti Dushanam. Dushanam was the name of the Rakshasa. He is the one who spoils everything. <laughs> I don't know how they have these names, but, but they have the Dushanam. So he, he is a spoiler. So Dushanam. So this is, way, this is, this is a pun on that word Dushanam. Let's look at the word Chakshami. Let's go to the uh, so he's using the 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 word dushanam in two senses, rakshasa vishesh visheshaha and also dushanam as kind of an akshepaha, something like a uh, like a blemish, an accus you know an, some the, some accuses you of something the dushanam. So so chakshame dhatu kshama, kshama is kranti to forbear, to put up with, to you know to accept to to accept to endure. Endure. So this chakshame, let me do have it in dark. It's the same. Oh, this slide is diff Yeah, correct, correct. Same, same thing here. Uh, it's the Pratham Purusha Ekavachanam Litlakaraha. So let me see. Do I have it here? Chakshame. Okay. That is Kshamush Sahane. Means to endure, to put up with something. So the word Kshama comes from that. Uh, Kshanti comes from that. Kshamaha also as, as a masculine noun comes from that. So same thing, Parokshe, Lit, uh, all the same steps, Anubandha, Lopaha, uh, Upadesha, Jana, Upadesha, Nasi, Then Pratiptasji comes because of this, uh, yeah, this is Anudat, Upadesha, Dhatuho. So, no, sorry. Anudat, Anudat, It. So Anudat, Tegnita, Atmani, Padam, Anudat, It. If you look at this one, number 510, Dhatu Partaha, do I have it? I don't give me give me one second. Dhatu Partaha. Uh if, if, if I can show you that. Okay. Dhatu Partaha, if you look at number five one ten in the uh Vadi Ganaha, in Dhatu Partaha we have this one Kshamu so you see the Anudatta it over there is Anudatta of the, the Ukaraha is Anudatta. So that's why Anudatta Gnita Atmane Padam this Atmane Padam, so that's where the Pratyata comes and not Tip. The same Sutram, Nitas Tajo Reshi Rech, Anekachi Sarvasya, Ekara, then Abhyasakaryam, Niti Dhato Ranabhyasasya. You get Kshram, Kshram, Haladish Sheshaha, in Ka Kshram, and then Kuhoschu, in the Abhyasa, the Kavarga and Hakarab takes the Chavarga Desha. These are very important rules in the Abhyas, in the Adhikara of Abhyasasya. Please practice these. We also want to deal examples many times. So these give a lot of bang for the buck. Look at these four. Rasvaha, Haladishesha, Kuhoshchuhu, Urat. At least these four. So Chakshame. You see, he did not tolerate. He did not put up with. So clearly this Karta is Ramaha. No chak so kakutstaha also we've seen before. This is this Puranic story. Kakut is the hump of a bull. So one of the one of the ancestors of Ramaha. He was, I think Indra asked for his help in fighting the Asuras. So he said, I will help you. So I think Indra became a bull. And this, you know, Rama's ancestor, he, he sat on the hump of Indra, of the bull. And he conquered all the Asuras. So he was Kakutstaha. So Kakudhi Kakutstaha. So, um, and then let me see if I can give you if, uh, that. Yeah, Kakut it should be an update. Let me see. And then Kakustha, descendant of Kak, Kakut, this Kakust, Kakustha. So, um, Kakustha. So, here to see. Uh, let's see if I can find that one for you. Kakut. Uh, let's see. Let's start. Kakud. Here it is. Kakud. Kakud is a summit, a peak, a chief head. The hump of the shoulder of an Indian bull. So, and he should have, yeah, kakudi tishtati kakudstha. Epithet of uh, 
Puranjaya, son of Shashad. That this is one of the insect, one of the ancestors of Rama. So that sutram Supista has been used. Like in have we had the Wednesday class, we had Madhyastaha comes in Gita, right? So uh, same thing, Kakutstaha. Kakut, so Kakutstaha. So Kakutstaha is the name of the ancestor. The sutram is Supistaha. Supistaha. If you want to look up the details, you can look in the Wednesday class. Kakuts. This is Supista, uh, Supistaha, mm -hmm. and then Atolo Iticha. 6464 Atalop Pratyaka comes there like Madhyastha we derived in fact here in the Wednesday class we have let's see if I can pull it up for you very quickly I know we did the form Madhyastha in the Wednesday class Madhya Madhyastha Madhyastha okay Madhya uh, yeah Madhyastha uh, should be there yeah see Madhya Tishthati Madhyastha so Kakudi Tishthati Kakutstha so Madhya Prasni. So this sutra is Supicha, I mean sorry, Supistaha. And then you get Ato Lope Ticha Madhyastha. Um so now what we have here, let me see, do you have a derived it here? Um uh, No, I don't know. But I think you know what? I think we had it in the prior class. Let me see if I can see if we have Ka Kutsta. Because we have so many repetitions now. Ka Yeah. So kakutsthasya apatya puman apatyam kakutsthaha. So now, okay, this is this interesting thing. So kakutsthaha was the ancestor. Kakutsthasya apatyam puman kakutsthaha. So kakutsthaha, near same adhikara which we have just seen, tasya apatyam. But now the question comes, what question should you ask here, Ven? What question should you ask over here? Why is it not like Dashrathi? Ah, very good. <laughs> See, when you have the Nafi language, when which, which unfortunately, you know, the, the, the stereum, the Buddha stereum nasty, you don't have that focus, you know, that avadhanam, avadhanam nasty, spin vishaya. Anyway, iti, iti, iti khedaha, that's the, that's the regret. But yes, why not like Dasharathihi, what happened here? Because Kakutstha and Dasharatha, okay, fine, they have different etymology, but so what? You see, it should become like the, that Kakutsthihi. So now this is this is the fun and the pain of the dhitas. Is that okay? We start with uh, the dhitaha, then come to pragdivya to an. So we got the pratyaya an, and then we got the syapatyam. But then we just used, we happily used the atai. Just recently we used that. There must be something else that is overpowering atai, and that's sutam shiva dibhyo an. This is the thing about this is the thing about the dhitas. It's a gana. Yeah, the, all these ganas, you know, basically it comes down to usage, doesn't it? Because yeah. if, it's, if it's in this gana, now you may, may not even be there in this gana. It may be there. Let me see. But this is an old, this, this probably should be there. Because at Polynesian time also you had the word kakustaha. So it probably is going to be there, I think. Uh, Shiva, kakustaha is there, yeah. Because this is a very old word. Even, uh, even, if, even if it wasn't there, you have to justify it in some way. So this is the this is the difficult part of this. It's, it's kind of the challenge. Is you know so Shiva the Bhyan. So you have to. Of course, we have books which give which, give, which list all the words of the Ganapatha. This nice one published by the Islam Kapoor Trust. Also one published in 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 Pune. In the I think the as by Professor Katre. He has an entire listing of the Ganapatha words. Um, anyway, so the Shiva Dibhyo An. So that puts back the An. So we had Pradibhyo to An. Atta E came in between there. So we have, this is how this gives a good good exercise, a good drill. So Pradibhyo to An. An was the default up to 442. Atta E came and then came Shiva Dibhyo An. So Shiva Dibhyo is a very important sutram. Meaning you have to force back the An in place. Shiva Dibhyan, Shiva Dibhyan. And once you put the and then you get the Adivriddhi, Tititesha Chama Adehe, and then of course the Yachibham Yasi Ticha, this Akara goal becomes Kakutstha. Okay, so now let, let's go back to, uh, in fact we have this in multiple places. Okay, so let me see. Uh, me, this document is becoming so big it's hard to navigate this document. So, okay. Uh, so 45, oh no, give me one second again. So, verse 46, I think we are in, right? Okay. Okay, Sajjanaha, 
स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इट से सत रियली इज द प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल ऑफ धातु अस चतुर्पत्य नोबल पर्सन सर इन इंग्लिश वॉट कॉल द सेंट्स In the English word "saints" is from the word "santaha" in Sanskrit. Saints, so santaha saints, so so good person, sadjanaha. Karma dhara compound, visheshnam, visheshnam, visheshyena bhulam. So visheshnam is the uh, 2157. As I said to you, the tadit, I mean the tadpurusha, adhika is from 2122 up to 2222. And in that we have the karma dhara is from samadhi karne comes from two one forty nine to end of two dot one visheshnam visheshyena bahulam adjective noun basically sat jana ha you get a sandhi karyam here sat dus jana ha you get the uh, ram yashonte soshchanashto sat jana ha a sat jana ha no sat jana hai thi a sat jana ha now this is nay is used in a variety of meanings in in fact I think we had uh, Let me see if you can see. When you see asajjana ha, asura ha, it is viruddhartha, viruddhartha. So it is used in variety of meanings. Uh, let me see if you can find the statement for you here. We had in the Wednesday class. Uh, uh, it's here. It is here. It is here. Good. I found it. Okay. Here these are six meanings of nai. Tat satat sadrusham. Something like a Brahmana manaya, bring me some not a Brahmana. We should bring some man, not you know a dog or something like that. Ata sadrusham, abhavascha, avignamastu. Me just an absence of obstacles. So the nyatvam, so nyatvam means anasham pranam manaya. Bring me a this should be when you specify, bring me a beast who is not a other than that. Tadal pata. Miss, if miss, which is small quantity of that. Anu dara kanya. This, this, this girl has no stomach. Miss alpo dara is it tiyarta. We see very slim waisted girl. Anu dara. Anu dara means avidyaman mudaram. Avidyaman means she is very slim. So alpata. A prashastyam. So he says <laughs> this is from the Mahabharatam. A Brahmano yam yas tishtan mutrayati. <laughs> One who urinates while standing. He is not a Brahmana. Means he is he is based Kutsi the Brahmana. What it means? So he is aprasastyam. Means he is not fit to be called that. So he so this is, and then comes virodhascha. So that's what we need right now. Virodhascha. So adharma, dharma viruddha, so which is opposite of dharma, asura. So asajjana means not that absence of sajjana. It not that he is a, he is sajjana and small. No, he is dushta basically. <laughs> Sajana means dushta, virodhascha. So this is says tad sadrishya ma bhavascha tad nyatam tad alpata aprasastyam tad virodhascha nanyartha shat prakir shat prakir tata. These are the six meanings of nay. And so we can take this. We had this in the Wednesday class in a lot of detail. So we can put this here. So right now what we are looking at is that we we need to use this fellow here, virodhascha. That is the one that we need right now, virodhascha. ओके सो अदरवाइज द प्रक्रिया से दिस नहीं तत् पुरुषः सो न सज्जनः असज्ज विग्रहवाक्य में जैसे सेम न सज्जनः असज्जनः न लोपो नयः नकार ऑफ नई ड्रॉप्स अवे एंड देन ओके लेट्स गो टू द व्याख्यान लेट्स सी व्हाट मलिना हैज टू से सो द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज दैट लेट्स लुक एट दिस वन इज दैट काकुस्सा रामः प्रयुक्तम दूषणम न चक्षमे ही डिड नॉट टेक इट काइंडली This dushanam who was employed, prayuktam means employed or kind of engaged. Prayuj is to use, use employed, appoint, appoint, or to also experiment. Prayoga. So this dushanam who was were dispatched or engaged. So Rama didn't take lightly, didn't take kindly to him. You know, asajjane na dushanam prayuktam because he was sent, he was employed by somebody by dushte na. By somebody who was an uh, not a good-minded person, but ignoble soul, just like 
Subhacharaha is is a Bahuri compound now. Is is Shubhaha Acharaha Yasyasaha. You be careful now. Because this is not a Karmadharya compound. It's a Bahuri. It could have been Karmadharya. Shubhacharya can be used, of course, as, as, as Karmadharya. Means good, nice conduct, you know, uh, praiseworthy conduct, Shubhacharaha. But this is not, this is Shubhacharaha is Bahuri compound. Shubha Acharaha Yasyasaha. Just like a person of good conduct does not take kindly, does not tolerate a a kind of a blemish, so blemish or a acquisition made of him. Atmanaha dushnam na chakshame. So yatha na sahate shubhacharaha. So somebody who has this impeccable conduct, he will not tolerate any any blemish of his of himself. In a similar way, this is basically is a play on dushnam. Dushanam, Dushanam over here. So we say that Ramaha didn't take kindly to Dushanam. It did not tolerate, did not put up with Dushanam. Just like Subhachar will not put a Dushanam of himself. So that's that's the shloka. So, so this is the play on the word Dushanam. Now, um, let's see what Malinatha says. He says that um, Asad, Asaditi. Asad means Asadjana, that's what. Atha Subhacharo Rane Saduchari. Sadvrittascha. Now he's connecting Shubhachara on both sides, by the way. Now what he's taking is that he's connecting Shubhachara on both sides, in the Upama Upameya. That's, this is the Dehili Deepajnaya, right? I mean, the lamp, like on the, on the threshold, lights both sides. So Shubhacharaha is the, is the Samana Padam over here between the Kakustaha and Sajjanaha, somebody else. So now he's explaining how Shubhacharaha can connect to Ramaha as well as in the Upama also. So what he says is that, he says Shubhachara, of course Vigravakyam is the same, which is Shubhachara, yes, yes, aha. He says, Rane Sadhuchari, one who always observes the rules of war. Sadhuvrittascha, and Sadhuvritta has these are two meanings. So one who is Sadhuchari, so Sadhucharin Padibadi, come, this is the Upavadi Samasa, Padi Sutram, uh, Supya jato ninista chilye, supya jato ninihita chilye, ninista chilye. So supi, so, so Ranesh, so he says sadhuchari. Sadhu, sadhuchari means that one who, who's, who, who, who behaves well. Sadhucharin, charchara is to move, it also means like to conduct oneself, to conduct oneself well. So Ranesh sadhuchari, so he, he conducts himself well in the war. Means he is a good fighter. He observes the rules. Sadvrittascha. Sadvrittaha is the same thing. So sat means like shobhanam. Vrittam yasya saha. So he is, he, is, he is also in war. He is sadhuchari. He is also, otherwise also he is exemplary conduct. Sahakakustaha. Asajjanena durjanena. So he, he clarifies that. <laughs> Durjas. So viruddhartaha. So we just, we just talked about that, Durjanena. So this is not like absence of Sajjana, or like small Sajjana, or slightly Sajjana, no. Durjanena. Rakshojanena, Rakshasas. Prayuktam, Preshitam. So it says Preshitam means sent by them. Preshitam. Ucharitam cha. So now this Prayuktam is, so now we have to connect in the, these words have double meaning words now. The double meanings. So Prayuktam means in this case, one who was dispatched one who was employed by the Rakshasas. And Prayuktam means Ucharitam. An acquisition which is made, an acquisition or a blemish which has been hurled at you verbally. So this is the way Prayuktam connects on both sides. Dushanam in this case, was this Rakshasa was sent by these, this Dushana was sent by the Rakshasas. And here Prayuktam means that, employed means that, an acquisition which is, which is uttered you know, which is uttered. So it is Prayuktam connects on both sides. Says in one case it becomes uh, Preshitam Ucharitam Cha. See how we connect, see this is how it goes. He says Shubhachara connects both sides by Rane Sadhuchari on one side, Ramaha, Sadvruttascha on the other side, Sadvruttaha, somebody who has Shubhanam Ruttam, which has, you know, good conduct. Then Durjanena Rakshu, so then again both sides. See the, this one, Rane Sudhaduchari, is in the sense in connecting to Sri Ramaha. Same thing, Durjanena, Yakshojanena Cha. Yakshojanena in the case of Ramaha. Durjanena in the case of somebody who is, you know, good conductor. 
And then same thing here, Preshitam Ucharitam. Preshitam means sent by the Rakshasa in the case of Ramaha. Ucharitam in the case of that Subhacharaha. Dushanam means Dushana Aksham Rakshasam in the case of Ramaha. He was this, this Rakshasa whose name was Dushanam. <laughs> what a name to have. Anyway, then Atmanaha Dushanam is Dosham Ivana Chakshame, a defect, a fault, a blemish, a shortcoming. So in one case it is the Rakshasa Vishesham, in another case it is Dosham. Nasehe. So, and he just in the sense put the bhava of the shloka as pratikartum pravritta ityartaha means that he set out pravritta set out to fix it to remedy that situation pratikartum pratikru is to to counteract to retaliate to retaliate against it so, pratikartum pravritta ityartaha what do you mean na chakshame means what he did not tolerate na sehe same in dhatu saha is to, to tolerate na sehe so by the way in, in hindi you say, you know, chordo, you say chordo, in Hindi you say chordo, let it be, let it, let it go. It's sodhum, the same, I think this dhatu saha being used, sodhum, so it's become, so put up with it, it's okay, leave it, you know, it, 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 you don't, but Rama didn't accept that, he didn't put up with it. He said he didn't, he didn't put up with his dushanam, who was a rakshasa vishesham, who was sent by these, these rakshasas are for him, just like a person of a exemplary conduct will not put up with a blemish and acquisition or a defect which has been pronounced against him. So, um, Atmanaha is of course the uh, Shashti, Shashti Ekvachanam, see very nicely he puts the, the Shashti before the Samandha, Samandha Shashti, Atmanaha Dushanam, like a defect of himself. Um, some Vyakaranam here, what else do we have left? Uh, Yujir Yoge, Prayuktam, right? That is Yujir, Yuj is to join, to connect, but also means join means to, in this case, to employ. So, Yir gets the Sanya, which is Vartikam, which is in a daily example, you already seen this one. Yir is Sanya Vacha, so Vartikam. I said to you, these, these, these set of eight, nine rules over here, tells you which is the it Sanya, in that is a Vartikam, Yir is Sanya Vacha, this, this entire Yir gets the Sanya, not prutak prutak, but the samudaya gets the sanya, so yuj plus ta. Now here in this case, this is the, probably going to pass passive part, because he was employed, he's not the employer, Dushna was sent, so yeah, so in this case, this uh, regular past passive person will work. <coughs> so nishtha pratyaya, nishtha, taktavatu nishtha, sanya sutram. Then this is uh, anubandha lopala shakvatadhite, uh, ekach upadesh anudatta, this is a ekach this, this is the ekach dhatu anudatta upadesha, so it stops the iragamaha. The iragamaha is, is going to come by default. When you have valadi pratya, sanya of ardha dhatu come. But in nishedha it takes place by 7 to 10 over here, and then by the kinitichya stops the gunadesha, which would have happened by puganta lagupatasya So no, no guna, no iragamaha. You only get Chokuhu and then Karicha, Yuktaha, Prayuktaha is, is the Gati Samasaha. Uh, Sehe is also the Sutra in, in the Vyakshanam. You have the word Sehe. This is uh, also little Karaha, Pratham Purusha Ekochanam. Just like I think we had the form Mene. Let me see. I think we had the form Mene in the class before. I didn't put all the steps again over here. This is the repetition, the same thing. I think we had Mene. Yeah, we had Mene, the same steps, you know. So, Dhatu Man plus Lit, we go through the usual, get the Litas Taji or Eshirech. But then what happens is that the Abhyasa takes Lopaha and this Akara gets the Ekara Deshaha. Because it is this, uh, this is 64120. So, so uh, Atta Ekahal Madhyana Deshaade Liti. Atta Ekahal Madhyana Deshaade Liti. Atta ekahal madhya nadesha de liti. If you have an akara in a dhatu, ekahal madhya. There is no sanyoga on either side. Dhatu man or dhatu sah. So there is no sanyoga on either side. Anadesha de. There should be no special adi adesha and abhyasa. Like abhyasa, like the kuhoshchu. Uh, so in the case of man or sah, there is no really special. So the, the special abhyasa effect should not be lost. 
Also, the pratyaksha should be kit nit following. So, same sutram again, which is the asanyuga lit kit one two five, and then we get so this so these two go together. Abhyasa lopa etvamcha. In Bhagavad Gita, as I mentioned to you, we don't have the atmanipadam lit, so we have, we don't have. And in fact, I mean, this is not only atmanipadam. Any time the pratyaksha is kit nit. Can you can it, and the other conditions satisfied? We can use this, but in Gita we do not have this sutra. This atta ekal madhya nade shadilit is not in Gita. It is not in Gita, so unfortunately we cannot use that. Anyway, so mainly we had before. So remember this sutra. If you have this akara for dhatu, there is no sanyoga on either side, and if the following pratyek is kithnit, there is no vishesh abhyasa the adi adesha. Then you can get this abhyasa lopa and etvamcha. Becomes mainly and say hey same thing. This is in the commentary is not in shloka, huh? but in the, in the commentary we have this. So say hey. Uh, so it's a good thing of making the document. You know, is that we, it's, it's, it takes a lot of time. But now we have so many of these things. We can just go back and just look up a you know form. We just saw kakustha. We saw then mainly we saw. So we can very quickly get these forms. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, say hey. Now, dushanam. This is the dushanam with dusha vaikritya to spoil. Vikara. Basically, to spoil something. But the niche comes, becomes, dush becomes doshi. Pugantala gupatasya cha. And so, this is the causative form in this Saturday class. We start in niche pratya and in starting on Saturday. So, we'll get some nice daily examples of that. So, chutu alantyam. So, it is hetumati cha. One something so dush dushta means to become defective. It's one who makes something defective. Someone who spoils. The special sutra for the dhatu dosh dush when the nishpratya for this okara becomes the ukara. Again, same thing when parini has to spend one sutra for a specific circumstance. Make a note of it, please. It says dosh or no? This dhatu dush becomes doshi becomes dushanam. Should have become doshanam. It became dushanam. That itself is the dushanam. <laughs> that itself is dushanam for the dhatu itself. <laughs> the dhatu itself is the dushanam, which is the 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 okara. I mean, the niche pratyah, ni pratyah falls becomes becomes ukara, becomes dushi. Then we get a sutram three one thirty four. Nandi grahi pachadi bhyo yuninya chaha yuninya chaha. So this this dhatu in the nandya di gana, they get the pratyah liu. So this is again. This is kartari krit. So in the uh, active sense, so dusheti ti dushanam, dusheti ti dushana. So one who's supposed like Ramana Maharshi, Ramayeti ti ti Ramana ha, Madhusudana ha, Vibhishana ha. These are all these words coming from this one. So Nanda na ha, Nanda ti Nanda ti ti Nanda na ha. One who pleases. Um, so here Liu becomes Ana by Yuranakao and Nirniti. Whenever you have a pratyaha which is sanya of ardhatukam, no iragamaha, niche takes lopaha, nirinity. Aniradav ardhatuke pare ne lopasyat. Nirinity, dushana, natvam, finally get natvam, dushanaha, rakshasaha. And then if you take dushanam, so this is when it called, this is an adjective, called rakshasaha. Dushanam as a defect or a doshaha. See now what's happening is here, pay attention to one thing by the way, is that this was committed in two ways as a dushanaksham rakshasam and then dosham eva. Now dosha is clearly bhavarthi. It's an abstract noun from dhatu, the same dhatu. So now this pratyagani is being used. This didn't, didn't, didn't become dusha, it became doshaha. Sutram 6490 was only coming now parataha. When the pratyagani is used, there is no, there is no do, there is no ukara desha, dosha. So, so he is taking the, what he is telling you here is that, is that, see one of the things you should be able to read the commentary, I know time is running out, but to read the commentary from the grammar standpoint, what is he trying to tell you? That this is the bhavarthe lyut, because he uses the word dosha to, to comment on it. So whatever the meaning that dosha is being used, same meaning dushna is being used in this in this sense. So the dushnam is coming in the two different meanings here. One is in the abstract noun, lutya sutram. So lut can be used to form neuter abstract noun. But the prakriya is the same, you get the, with the ana and then you get you know the dushanam, you get it like that. Um, so but but 
the thing is that this is a neuter abstract noun dushana. Well, this one dushana ha is an adjective, one the spoiler, one who makes things defective, one who spoils. So the same this thing pratyaya was liu, pratyaya is liut. If you want to do some homework, you can look at this sutam three one one thirty four on one side, other side is prat sutam liutcha. Different different meanings. This is kartarthe, one who spoils, and this is just a defect. Abstract noun from the from the verb, of course, still causative, still causative, but get the. Um, okay, doshaha. Then then shubha acharo yasya shubha achara. We did that. Okay, just one minute left, sir. You ready, sir? Vain. By the way, Nagarajji, thank you for being there. But since Vain only comes when, so then we we'll give him a chance. So, um, okay, let's let's see if I can tile this for you, Vain. Uh, uh, Okay, I think I need to put it down here, right? Okay, because the shloka is on here. Okay, all right. Let's see. Then uh, it is not there. Okay, I think there is understood. Mm -hmm. The dis the descendant of uh, ah at yeah is atha there? Atha there? Some? Yeah, atha. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, atha. I'm sorry. Atha is then. Yeah. See again, this this it 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 might come like a whole clause later than in English, like a whole bunch of words later. So Atha is connecting with the yeah, definitely Atha. Yes, correct. Sorry, correct Atha. Atha is then the descendant of Kakustaha is Kakustaha. Kakustaha. Now who fought righteously in obedience of the honor of code of honor? Shubhachara. Shubhachara, because he's taking the commentary very nicely because she says that. Yudhe sadvrittaha, yudhe sad, yudhe uh, sadhuchari, yudhe sad, rane sadhuchari. That is the that's what he's taking. So that is good. So he's making in commentary. So unfortunately, go two pages here back and forth. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, one who fought righteously is the, the subhachara, rane, rane sadvrittaha. Sad, sorry, rane sadhuchari, rane sadhuchari. Sorry. Did not excuse. excuse. Chak, na chakshame. Na chakshame. Yeah. Did not. No chakshame. The demon dushana. 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 Ekasmin arthe. Dush. Ekasmin pakshe. Dushana akshyam rakshasam. Who was urged? Sent. Prayuktam. So preshitam. You see, all is in the commentary. Preshitam. The sent to fight is understood by the wicked demons. Asajan, Rakshoganena, Rakshoganena is by the wicked demons. Asajan in Rakshoganena. As he, be, he, yeah, Eva, 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 yes, Eva, he being of a fair conduct, Sadvrittaha, is Saha. So Saha, he, Shubha, yeah, he, again. Shubha, again, actually, he is himself. Okay, so I guess the, the simile is on himself. <laughs> it's not yeah. any other person, I guess. Saha Shubhachara. He himself was a fair conduct. Would not tolerate the same thing. No, 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 saheta. No, chakshame, no, saheta. Would not tolerate any censure. That is again this dushanam doshaha now. Not not the rakshasa vishesha, but doshaha. Against himself is atmanaha. Miss off himself, you know, defect. Atmanaha. Uttered is again ucharitam. Prayuktam again. again. Yeah. Prayuktam. So, so means pakshe in the unnespin un, pakshe in the other case, ucharitam. Asajanena. By wicked people is asajjanena. Okay, let's stop with that. Thank you. Now in English, yeah. uh, the first half you said did not excuse. So, the really is. That's correct. That's something. That, did not. But, but then he would not, not, yeah. Is that is the understood, you know. That yeah. is because he wants to. Use, he will not repeat the same word on this side. Yeah. So yatha yogyam parivartanam kartavyam. You have to in the in the upamana in the upamana pakshe. You yeah. have to do yatha yogyam parivartanam. You have to change right. it. Correct. Yes, sir. Understood. Correct. We see. This is technically a past tense. We have to yeah. make a little adjustment. Ramo rajamanis sadavijayate ramam rame.